You there, can you help me? Nora, please, I need to speak with you. Sun and Shadow, you're the Nora who saved the Sun King. They say you tracked the Asaram assassin with your second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Hmm. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the Hunter's Lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck-up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the Lodge. Maybe, but it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour.
able-bodied adventurers. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl. I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation. It's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> It's on the edge of Banukland, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. The one who foiled the plot against our city. The sun honors me with our meeting. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the sun ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. 
What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end, he said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. But for me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some drops of blood bleeding away. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Thought you had too much pride in my hands. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen that thief. 
My mother told me to steer clear of Outlanders, but you seem friendly enough. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. We're letting the Asaram decide what to do with him? But he tried to kill our king. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Well, don't you seem fresh-faced and ready for anything. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Stopped in cold. I've got all the best goods here. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it! Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Well. Guess I should goods. go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Oh. Hope everything's in order.
Need them soon enough. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Some Maseran girl applied to the city guard the other day. Amazing. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. It looks like there was a scuffle here, but no body. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. Shadow Karja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Show yourself, you miserable chump! Ugh! <laughs> 
here. Something. Let's try this again. Kinjeev sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Kandiv told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? Ugh. But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe.
cities look on too crowded these days. So who can A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame. Won't find better Not what you need, leave the rest. This has to be the belief camp that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machine, docile. It's like they've already been overridden.
I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts, and my song will echo for a hundred more. You honor me. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts, and my song will echo for a hundred more. Tomorrow, we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. these machines up close like this it's grazer dung i'm sorry frozen grazer dung this ravager led me here i chased it down from the rivals where it killed a great ice hunter tore him in two the challenge i accepted but when it reached this camp the fury left it isn't that a good thing takuk says it's a gift Pfft. what is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn the machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. Swift arrows and sharp blades. May your song echo. I am the best hunter of my Wirak, and none shall wrest that honor from me. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've... never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines... sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunder Jaws song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell. Or perhaps... It slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but... What Maybe are we doing here? Can. Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. Hard well.
Keep your scales sharp. I wish your weir act on it. The new clans are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. Check the area with my focus, maybe. Long health and hard eyes. Some other where I accept our third signal. We'll claim first blood. And the source is at the top of the mountain. Better look into it. Yes. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. The last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. and send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for oxygen. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. What? Done. Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. 
Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back! Machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osiram thought... The Osiram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Imagine living anywhere else. I think the machine was also just to be able-bodied adventurers! Outlander! Are you looking for Wait? I know your face. <laughs> you came back! <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. 
The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Car just silks? Ugh. Hoisted on my own purse strings. Good hunt. <laughs> 